Hello, hello, welcome back. Welcome tribe, thank you all for being here. Thank you seasoned viewers, thank you fresh viewers. You're all very welcome here to this beautiful sacred space of ours. We are Twin Oracles. Please don't forget to like the video, share the video, subscribe the video, and hit that notification bell so that way you don't miss any of our videos. We're so grateful for you to share the love. You never know who you can help. And we're gonna get into the channel messages. Now, if you are looking for a personal reading, that information is linked down below. Now, for some of you, um, you have made the right moves and you're looking into the future hoping for the investments to come in hoping for basically hoping for to reap the rewards and the benefits of making all these right choices and you will right it's a matter of time being patient but make sure that you're not allowing the ego mind to get the best of you and, you know, to put you in this mentality where it says, well, it's not going to happen for me, right? Because it feels as though um, for some of you, there is a project, perhaps something that you have invested time, energy, money into in the past and it didn't bear the fruits that you were looking for, so perhaps you've tried again, maybe the same project, or you've tried again in a completely new project, something completely different, and you're waiting for the rewards to come through, and maybe the mind is getting the best of you, saying, oh, it's not gonna happen, it didn't work then, it's not gonna work now. Um, you know, there's this energy of you being a victim to your thoughts, okay? So take that how it resonates. If you are embarking on, you know, a new project or revamping an old project, hoping to have, you know, benefits from your energy put into this, be patient and be hopeful. Be patient and be hopeful, okay? Um, that's the channeled message that I'm getting so far. It, it feels like something will move towards you and it will make you happy but to just be patient in that, okay? If that resonates with you, and if you enjoyed the channeled message, please comment down below and say, what didn't work then will work now. I expect the best, or the best is yet to come. And if it didn't resonate with you, that's okay. We're gonna dig into the cards and see what the cards have to say today. God, please tell our viewers, show them what they need to know and hear today. It's also about, um, you know, taking back your confidence and knowing your value, knowing your worth and knowing what you're capable of, right? It's like, it feels as though you're the type of person that whatever you touch turns to gold. So if that's the case, have faith in that. And if you are like that, where everything you touch turns to gold, comment that down below. Everything I touch turns to gold. I'm like a magician. Interesting to see if the magician card will come out. Because I'm picking that up, that energy up, about, you know, whatever you touch turns to gold. So be confident in that truth and knowing that truth. Whenever the ego tries to get the best of you and tell you, oh, it's not going to happen, it's not going to happen... Put trust and faith in your value and in, in the value of God being there to support you and to manifest and make all your dreams happen. If it's a dream, it's meant for their, it's meant for you, if it's meant for you, if it's a dream, it's meant for you and it's there for you to have. <laughs> there. I got it out. <laughs> now, um... I'm being asked to ask you all to take a moment and breathe and to release all the worries of the day and to ask your heart, what is your dream? What would be one of your dreams come true? And then I'm gonna pull a card at the end of the reading 
to see the answer to that. Also, if the star card comes out or if the nine of cups card comes out, then your dream will manifest. It will come true. Okay. My battery is going to go and I don't have my charger. All right. So for some of you, your something's being cut out. Okay. This is clear. Something is ending. It's over, it's done, it's finito, kaput, it's ending, it's over, okay? What that's going to do for you, it's going to bring in something new for you, something fresh, okay? There's been a dream that you've been holding on to for quite some time, okay? Um, make sure you don't let past hurts and past pain and sufferings get the best of you. If you're going through some form of separation... I'm sorry, um, it, you know, it's a difficult situation, but just know that it's happening for a reason for you to rise above, to be on a higher plane of reality, to be on a higher existence, okay? So you want to make sure that you don't hold on to this, if this was a relationship, um, you don't want to hold on to it forever, Okay, you want to hold on to it for as long as you need to feel the emotions, feel the pain, go through the, the motions of the emotions, but then eventually release it to let it go so it can be healed. It's, it's like there's an opportunity wanting to come in for you, okay? For some of you, you know, you tried something in the past, it didn't work. You're holding on to it, you're wanting it to manifest, but maybe you're still stuck in that past hurt and past pain and that's fueling the energies of you experiencing what you don't want to experience. So make sure that whatever it is here, however this resonates for you, make sure it's very important to heal scenarios and situations okay it's very very important i'm seeing you rising above the situation whatever it is and you know when you rise above other people are going to see that and other people that aren't rising other people that are remaining stuck and stagnant other people that perhaps are jealous or you know have some sort of envy streak or whatever low vibration energy you want to call it they might not be happy for you, right? So they want to try to compete for you possibly, or they want to try to keep you down and bring you down to their level, okay? So just be aware of that. But it does feel like something is definitely coming in for you. You will be reaping the rewards that you're looking for. Now we're going to pull a card from the Pink Dream Clarity deck. It's, you can see here, which, uh, from Etsy, it's called witch way witchery it's a beautiful deck and it's a clarifying deck so god please let us know let us know the most important message that we need to hear about today one more shuffle and let's get into some people are thinking that there's no way, there's no way, not in a million years, there's no way that, you know, this would happen to you, right? Right, exactly. They're saying, frankly, uh, my dear, no. Like, they're saying, no, it's not possible. Like, th this can't happen for you. Your dreams can't come true. Or they're trying to bring you down. There's, there's some people here trying to take away your dreams. You know, they're saying, oh, I, I don't see that that can ever happen. And the answer is, like, you could even you just, you can take a look at these energies. You know, the same color, shade of pink, the same black writing. Frankly, no, my dear, don't see it working out. And they try to do it in a very loving way, you know, as though that they are supporting you. But really, it's this toxic energy saying, oh, no, your dreams aren't going to come true. Meanwhile, the answer is yes. Do you, do you see the darkness here? Do you see the blackness, the darkness? It kind of feels like negative and heavy and harsh. Meanwhile, you have words like dear, you know, these loving words, frankly, right? 
but you can when you look at it you can see there's like it's dark and there's like a lot of words here there's a lot of heavy energy here but when you look at this card if you compare it there's light here there's light here okay so some of you might even be being asked to cut out the people that are toxic for you okay there, this is filled with light. It's beautiful, okay? It's a beautiful shade of pink. It's filled with light, and it's clean, crisp, and simple. And the answer is, yes, your dreams will come true. Yes, they will come true, okay? So hold true to the truth, and hold on to your truth, and do not let any naysayers tell you otherwise, okay? The answer is yes. I hope that resonates. Please like and share and subscribe. Give our video a th thumbs up. Thank you all for being here. Until the next time, as always, we love you. Bye for now.